Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. A couple of Sundays ago, I played a game called Oxenfree for my Sunday sampler. And uh, while I wasn't too crazy about the dialogue mechanic in the game, I was very intrigued by the story. And also, it's like a mystery kind of exploration kind of game. And I like games like that. So um, I kind of wanted to get back into the game and maybe try to learn more about the story. And I've also been told that it's not a very long game. I think somebody told me it was like four or five hours. Of course, with, with the way I play games, it'll take a lot longer than that, most probably. But I kind of just wanted to do something a little bit different than um, The Witcher tonight. So uh, I'm going to uh, play a little bit more of Oxenfree. Uh, obviously, if you haven't watched uh, the Sunday Sampler, you're probably going to want to watch that first before watching this. Otherwise, you'll be pretty lost. But uh, for those of you who have already seen the Sunday Sampler, uh, let's hit continue here and uh, get back into Oxenfree. And I'm hoping that this will take me right back where I was. So here's where we left off in the Sunday Sampler. We're up here in this tower, and there's a phone here that we can't use to dial out. But when we were up here, uh, our friend Ren called us. Well, I guess Ren is actually her... Um, uh, step a brother now. Let me see if I can bring up a map. I know there's a map in here somewhere, but I can't seem to bring it up. Huh, I really thought that this was the key that brought up the map. I'm trying the phone again, but it's dead. Uh, so we have two choices of uh, where to go. Why can't I go to the map? Uh, let me see. Well, this isn't going to let me change any of the keys or anything. Um... I thought that there are some photos that I haven't looked at before. I know there's a map, and I thought I knew which key brought up the map, but it's not working. So let me just wildly press buttons. Maybe I can't bring up the map now? Maybe I can't. Okay. Well, I don't know why I can't bring up the map. I should be able to look at the map because there's two places we could go. We could either go and help or look for Ren. He's at one place. Or we could go and look for Clarissa. She's at another place. Um, and I think that we should probably go to Ren first. I mean, just because he's the one who brought us here and because Clarissa's kind of a bitch. Uh, so let's get off of this tower and um, try to find a freaking map. I don't know. I don't understand why I can't. Okay, here's the radio. Uh, okay. Let's see if there's anything on the radio. Just for fun. Sounds like backwards. Doesn't it? it sounds backwards. So we got this radio station. There's that uh, Morse code. Is that something about three direct hits? Hmm. Whoa, that is so spooky. Seriously spooky. Here's the map. It's the middle mouse button. That makes total sense. Okay, so here's where we are. Um, this is, gosh, I don't even know the names of the people in the game. This is us. We're playing as the girl. And here is where Clarissa is, and here is where Ren is. And like I said, I've decided that we're going to try to get to Ren first first. I just think that that's probably the maybe the smarter thing to do. I don't know. But that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get off this tower here and see if we can't find where Ren is. I also need to figure out how to save because when I hit continue it put me way back and I had to replay uh, this whole climb up to the top of this tower but of course I cut that out. 
So I have to pay attention to see if I can notice when the game saves. He's going to wait till we get all the way down the ladder here, I guess. So here's this plaque that we looked at before. And I actually can't look at it again. So we're just taking off, man. He can catch up. He could try to. I don't even remember his name. I don't remember our character's name. But I really like the graphics in this game. I really like the look of it. Electric fence. Let's see if he has anything he wants to say about the fence when he gets here. No? Because there was a switch up in the tower that supposedly turned this fence off. And it's open. Okay. They have nothing they want to say about that. We could either go to Hardened Tower or Epiphany Field. And Hardened Tower is uh, where we just were. Um, so... I don't, I don't know how Epiphany Field is going to get us to Relay Point. Huh. But I guess that's the way we have to go. So that just tells us directions. It doesn't, we can't like take a shortcut. It's not a fast travel point. Go to Epiphany Fields. Yeah, I guess we really don't have any choice. That's where we got to go. So we'll go this way. So hopefully you did watch the uh, Sunday Sampler and you know how these two characters ended up here at this tower. Something very strange happened at a cave and they kind of woke up there. How are you doing or what do you think is going on? What do you think is going on, man? So, just curious, Our name is Alex. But, um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us, but not, and now we're here. Uh, what does it all mean, dude? Yeah, okay, but what does it all mean? That's between you and your priest. <laughs> what does it all mean? Okay, I don't think we want to go this way, because I think this is going to take us, you know, further away. I think we're going to want to go to Tui Woods. Um... Unless we wanted to go all the way back to the beach. Actually, that's kind of that's kind of tempting to go back to the beach to see if anybody's still there. That's actually something I would do. <laughs> I don't know if there would be consequences to that. My Milner Outpost or Harden Tower. Oh, okay. This will take us up here, not down here. Okay, I don't want to go this way because this is going to take us to her. So we're going to go the other direction. Oh, I didn't notice these little triangles here. I guess this is showing where we could go to from here. So we're not going to go that way. We are instead going to go this way. Not to the comm tower though, we were just there. We are instead going to go to Tui Woods. And this will take us to Tui Grove, so let's go. So this is probably the save right here. Whenever we enter a new area, it saves. So I have to make sure I do that when I stop this play session. This place looks scary, man. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy in that I'm outdoors. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. Uh... We do... No, um, we're... vaguely. Yeah, vaguely. We vaguely know where we're going. I wish I knew what these little bubbles meant. You Is know, that a good thing or a bad thing? This really creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh, yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. <laughs> My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got something. Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's, that's happened. pretty scary. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound yeah, pretty scary. Yeah, I agree with Jonas. That does sound scary. Ooh, now we're running for some reason. Uh, 
Am I supposed to jump across that? Oh, no, no, no. We could go down. That's right. We could climb down. All right. Going to do a little bit of climbing down. And we'll do some more de climbing down here. These kids are really good at climbing rocks. I really like this effect with these uh, trees in the foreground here. I'm going to walk this way, just to see if there's anything over here. Nope. Nothing. Alright, thought there might be something to look at over here, but uh, there's not. We are here. Save Ren. Okay, well, that's where I'm going. I'm working on it. Give me a minute. There's also... A little bit of a path here, but that also doesn't take us anywhere, so we'll keep going down. Okay, jump down. Nice, nice. Good job. Oh, something to look at here. Roosting tree. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next, on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Hey, I'm interested. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really, no. No, oh, that makes me sad to think that somebody wouldn't be impressed with a 400-year-old tree. <laughs> That's impressive, man. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I wonder if there's anything on our radio here. Um, I keep forgetting how to tune. There we go. There was plenty of time for thinking. Thinking about a lot of things you remembered. Sometimes about what was ahead. That was a special kind of thing. When you looked around, you saw you weren't the only one doing it. Somehow it made you feel a lot closer. What? Have time for thinking. Okay, so that's going to repeat. A lot of things you remembered. Or no. Sometimes about what was ahead. That was a special kind of thing. Okay. Somehow it made you feel... Whoa. Whoa. Those are some great sound effects. They really give me the heebie-jeebies, man. I can almost hear a voice in there. Some pleasant music. Oh, nice. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species most notably the white-tailed tohi, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655, when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. Hmm. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, kind of Colonel Tim Russell would free... Somebody practicing the piano. <laughs> uh, okay, like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Uh, okay. Keep forgetting what key does what. So here is. So it's, I said Tuhi before, it's Tohi Woods. 
our bridge stands. Look at that on the map. This will get us the bridge stand. Boy, it's a long way over here to this place where Ren is. I was thinking it might have been faster to go to her first, but this is what we're doing. We're going to Ren. So let's go on to bridge stand. On to bridge stand we go. See what other kind of creepy th things we find around here. Strange things on the radio. Okay, on to bridge stands. Onward and upward. Can I go this way? No, I can't. Interesting. Okay. Um. Ooh. Um. Why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made like, just like a normal bridge? It's a bridge ferry. Wood dude. and slats. It's not a cable car. It's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry. Kind of cool, right? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. It looks less than welcoming, or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Yeah, but Ren or needs us, dude. Even on. Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us, so. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the um conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. Hmm. Um. I actually don't see what they're talking about. But we're gonna go ahead and jump across here and check out this uh, cemetery. Because there's nothing creepy about cemeteries. Oh, check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. <laughs> I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. Okay. Well, there you go. Cemetery. So up here to the right is a door, and of course I'm curious to know what's going on behind the door, so that's the way we're going to go. A little building here. Door. Power transfer station 167. Oh, I'm shocked okay, that it's that's open. That's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Uh, no need. Or not. I guess. No, nope, I didn't press it quick enough. That's what I don't like about the dialogue. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I want to hear everything everybody has to say. I don't like cutting them off. There's a circuit breaker and a television. Let's watch some TV. Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. Really? Soaps? I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is, beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. <clears throat> Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know. Please, I can handle pulling two switches. <sighs> I really just don't like... I can't think of a way to delicately put this... But what? Someone with two X chromosomes doing it? Someone who shaves their legs? That is not it, okay? But sure, if you want to be the one to get cooked, go ahead. Okay, so we've come in here first. I guess You're if... You're going to pull it. You might as well do it now. Yeah, I'm not going to. Um, I guess if we had tried to go up to the... It's uh the switch right there. Uh -huh. If we had tried to go up to this thing... Hey, we um need power, right? If we had tried to go up to this thing before coming there, okay, whenever you're ready, um, we would have found that the cable thing wasn't running. So let's see. This would take us to the campground. Okay, this is it right here. Campground would take us here. There's only two ways we could go from here, according to these little arrows. So I guess she's not going to comment on it now that we've already been in the other building. So I probably missed out on some dialogue. 
But that'll happen sometimes. And then now I'm real curious to know what's going on up here. <laughs> so, <laughs> see you later, Jonas. I'm going to do some exploring on my own. Which is probably stupid, but... I've been known to do stupid things. Little, maybe cairn here? Little stack of rocks? Maybe that's what that is? So here's another place I think that means we could listen to the radio here. The Catbird station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and if the signal... Oh wow, you lose it if you walk away from it. ...automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. Okay. The Catbird station was built... Now let's go back and get what's-his-face before we go up here. It wouldn't hurt anything to go ahead and pull that switch, I guess. Whoops, we want to go down. Pull this switch in here. Uh, what did you flip? Cause it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. Uh oh. I flipped the. Uh, it's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? Whoa. It sounds weird it too. Sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? Yeah, a little. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. That's pretty creepy. It's... <laughs> it's locked. I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay. We'll just... There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. I think they're way too calm about that door being locked now. That would freak me out more than anything else. The door just suddenly shuts and locks itself from the outside. That's not weird at all. Uh, any ideas, dude? Uh, any ideas? The, uh, light kind of reminds me of that triangle thing. I don't know why. Hmm. Maybe it's a transmission or something. Other okay. than that, I don't know. Hop up and down and cry about our bad luck. Alright, let's turn on the radio. Would have been better had it never been found. Would have been better. Oh my. It would have been better had it never been found. For all those who possess. Those are some scary sound effects. Can't quite make out what it's saying, but it sure sounds spooky. <laughs> I thought I heard somebody say, begin transmission. There's some weird radio signals out here. Oh, 
Okay, well, nothing really happened there. But we are stuck in here until we figure out what it is we are supposed to do. And our only option appears to be the radio. So I'm going to turn the radio back on and we'll go through the radio channels again. There, I heard it. Begin transmission. Set it again. What are we trying to do here? sense out of it. Whoa. Here we go. Okay, okay. So we're supposed to find that That's, frequency and let it resonate or something. God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. <laughs> well, power's on now. Okay. Crazy stuff, man. Oh, and the door opens. That's not weird at all. And they have nothing to say to each other. Because it was totally normal. Nothing strange about any of this. Well, before we go, was this uh, a chair here? Was that there before? <gasps> uh. <laughs> I think the door opening and closing on its own is a little worse than a chair, Jonas. There's a chair here now. Chair. Alex, are you all right? <laughs> Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Oh, I'm Look sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to. Okay. So there's a chair there now. Uh, I want to go back up to this building up here with Jonas with us. And see if we can get in here. Because I don't know what the heck this is all about. So we're going to try to do that real quick. Before we go across the cable car, we'll go see what the heck this is all about. Door. That's as far as I could go to the left. It says it's the, I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird. 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. 60.8, huh? Um... Yeah, I mean, it definitely doesn't go that far. Okay, well, um, yeah, here's the catbird station. Doesn't really, can't really do anything there, so, is, that, is it even on the map? I guess that's probably it right there. So yeah, I don't know why that's there, but we're going to go back down and go across this, uh, cable ferry, is that what she called it? Don't remember now. But yeah, that chair thing is pretty weird. Why is there just suddenly a chair sitting there? Pretty, pretty weird. What a night. 
Huh? Yeah. Uh, what a night. What a night. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> you said it first. You said it first. I'm just saying, this this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. It just Stuff happened. Stuff happens. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that's happening is, like, really terrifying and annoying. Yeah. All right. Humming Turn on the engine. Like barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. <laughs> uh, this one is. Well, this one is. <laughs> All right. Did you do it? Controls. Praise oh. the Lord. Go to campground. Here we go to the campground. Oh, that looks safe. I'm sure it's fine. They'll be okay. So, yeah, I don't know what was up with that catbird station. I wonder if that'll come into play a little bit later on. It might. Okay. Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. So you're saying you were expecting it to? I half was. But it didn't. So... So, we yay. used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Yeah. With my brother. With Michael? Yeah? Like, with your mom and dad, or...? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes mom and dad, but mostly just him and me. Oh, that's cool. Like he's... like he'd be babysitting you and he'd bring you out here? That's nice of him. He could have just stayed home, you know? It wasn't like that. We were, like, best friends. It's not like he was being forced to do it. He wanted to do it. We liked hanging out together. Oh, uh, I mean, I didn't mean... Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't remember what happened to her brother. I'm sure it was mentioned earlier, but I don't remember. Let's see what's up with this campsite. This tent. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. Yeah, I can see this place being cool like in the summer, or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It can be pretty nice when the the conditions are right, you know? Yeah, when the conditions are right. When weird, freaky stuff isn't happening in the middle of the night. Then it's pretty nice. Whoa, what the hell? You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? What? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Wait a minute, something just uh, happened. Do you ever get deja vu? <laughs> well, there's a fire like, over here now. Like, didn't we just walk through here? Huh. That's funny, I, I don't think we have. I only mention it because my family trips were awful. My mom would always insist on going to Missouri every single year. Ugh. I mean, it was all we could afford, but still. That's a long drive for... <laughs> Why was it so bad? There just was nothing to do. And my parents wanted to give me a good time, and they couldn't, and I could tell. I don't know. I look back on it now, and those dumb trips are kind of like, they're just containers for, I don't know, the memories that I have with her. Nowadays, I think what stuff happens matters more than where stuff happens. But I don't know. I changed my mind a lot on that. Yeah, maybe. After tonight, I might disagree, though. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. Okay. She's kind of dropped the whole deja vu thing. Wait, wasn't this... <sighs> we passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. He doesn't remember. What's these weird sound effects I'm hearing off screen? Like something off to the right? You hear that? Something going on over here? I don't see anything. I don't know if that's just supposed to be the sound of the fire crackling. Maybe that's all it is. This is really weird. What the hell's going on? Whoa, here we go again. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean that's what Ren made it sound like. We have definitely been here before. This is weird. What's weird? Cause I don't remember any of this. Jonas, seriously, you don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot. Again and again. 
Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but like, I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? Or is I it- keep repeating this one moment for some <sighs> reason. God, can't things stay normal for like two friggin' seconds? Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed, but okay, let's deal with this now, sure. Huh. He's not exactly reacting in a way I would expect somebody to react. He'd be like, I mean, if he really didn't remember, he'd be like, what the heck are you talking about? Okay, now there's a soccer ball here. This is, uh, new. Oh, I had the exact same ball. Ah, oh, it's... Kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah. Why would a toy company make two, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hardy har har. Oh, love the jokes. Keep it up. See what happens. Kick ball. Sure. Why not? Take that ball. Oh. Oh, darn it. Um. What the? Who's there? So it's just. So he saw that, huh? That's strange. Yeah, that was pretty weird. Good, so at least now he finally saw something weird, too. I'm taking Whoa. a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. What? Alright, who are you? Alright, who are you? Maybe don't antagonize whoever. Okay. <laughs> what the heck is going on? I think they have a sense of humor. Hey, come on! Hmm. Are they on the radio? So that's a different station than before. We didn't hear that one. Well, that's pleasant. a movie? A war movie? And that sounded like guns. Maybe planes flying. And spooky music. Sounds like one of those, um, what are they called? Not number channels. What are they called? Those mysterious channels that just kind of like play sounds and repeat digits. I forget what they're called, but man, they're freaky. Okay. Well, um, let's walk this way towards the ball. Whoa. 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 Oh my god. How Ugh, my doctor's not going to be happy with my blood pressure this year. Yeah, mine neither. I actually Alex, like see eyes. I think we're <clears throat> dealing with ghosts. Just a hunch. <laughs> what tipped you oh, off? Yeah, what tipped you off? The messages, the ball, or maybe it was the ghost. The ghost that just burned itself into the rock? Yeah, that. Cool. Is there anything back here behind us? The ghost is looking in this direction. I don't know, man. Just wanted to take a quick look. Alright, I don't see anything. Let's see if the ghost is still there when we go back. This is pretty bizarre. <laughs> I really want to know what's going on. I hope this isn't what, like, um, inside where the ending was stupid. Okay, they're not going to comment on the ghost other than what they just said. No, 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 no! Oh, crap! Jonas? Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? Oh no, Jonas is gone. Oh crap. Um. 
Scary sound effects. Oh. Where? Where? Huh? What? Oh, what's going on? What the? Whoa, wait. What? What's happening? What is happening? What? Don't tell him what to do. He should break don't up with Clarissa. Don't tell Michael what to do about Clarissa, okay? What the? What? Huh? What do you mean? Wait, wait. We've done this before. Okay. Uh, there's got to be a way out, or... Uh. It's alright. We must have just missed, um, something. What? Do you remember more now? Are you... Can you kind of remember more now? It's starting to stick. Yeah, I mean, it's still sort of foggy, but whatever. I'll deal with it. So, this is kind of a puzzle that we need to figure out, but, <laughs> yeah, I'm really clueless. The fire is gone. The sign is new. Oh, it's a tape player. Huh, this look, it's like super old, but man, it's almost spotless. It's one of those, um, magnetophones, I think they're called. You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped something, I think. Yeah, but making it sound right did what? I... I don't know, but it's like my allergies cleared up or something. Let's just keep going and get Ren. Okay, that made zero sense, and um... I just kind of spun the thing. That's all. And... Okay, we're getting further now. These two are still awfully calm about what's going on. Uh, ghosts, huh? This is really insane, Jonas. Like, the craziest thing that's happening to anyone right now is <laughs> happening to us. <sighs> True, but... But what? But... But... Nah, I couldn't think of anything to say. <laughs> what do you think they want? The, uh, uh... The ghosts. Do they have to want anything? Just most of the time, don't they like... I mean, isn't that why they're trapped here or whatever? Because they didn't do something they needed to in life, or...? Mm. I don't know. This feels bigger than that. But maybe that's just because we're living it. I just hope they want to, like, play soccer every once in a while, and that's it. <laughs> Alright, I was going to go right, but now I'm going to go up here, because this looks like it's actually a dead end. This looks like it keeps going, so I'm going to go up to the dead end first. So now we have a soundtrack. That tape player playing. So what is this up here, a fort or something? Can we get up to it? We can. Okay. Alright, so um, we've walked up here to the top of this place, but there's nothing up here. Where are we on the map? We are at the campgrounds. Okay. So let's get down from here. Jump. So we're slowly getting closer to where Ren is. And this path here will probably take us there, but of course I'm going to go this way instead because I want to see what's down here. Is that Nona? Oh, we found somebody. Hey, Nona, what's up? Did it, don't, don't, okay, just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. Nona. Just don't move. Nona, come on, it's us. You can see it's us. It's me and Jonas. This night has turned banana bread really <laughs> fast. And I'm seeing things and forgetting things 
And I bumped into you once already. And really? it was horrible. So we're going to take it a little slower. We haven't. It, this is the first time we've seen you since the beach. Be that as it may, I've seen an Alex. So just look, you're not going to talk about my grandfather. You're just going to stand there politely and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Okay. Because I've been looking. Clarissa's no, at- No, we haven't. But we, uh, we're actually, we're looking for Ren right now. So oh. have you, have you maybe seen him? No, hmm. not Ren. I wonder okay, why he cut us well. off. Hey, listen, Nona, you should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay, hey, I get it, I do. I'm jumpy right now too, but- Just can... hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just- can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and it seems pretty safe. Yeah, that's actually... that's a good idea. Go to the comm tower and just sit tight till we get back. And the comm tower is... where? It's the Cloud Buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. The Cloud and Buster. You. You're really you? Really? Yeah, Nona, it's me, Alex. Hmm. All right, bye. <laughs> okay, so we're sending her to the to the comm tower. A peach. So for some reason, he didn't want us to tell her where Clarissa was. I don't know why, though. Huh. Oh, actually... All right. Uh, um, now that I see that that's a dead end up there, I'm going to go there first. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I picked the wrong way. Uh, so let's just go up here real quick just to see if there's anything up here. Jump. There. Jump. I don't know why you're having so much trouble jumping, Ren. So poor little Nona there. She says she ran into Alex earlier. And apparently they talked about her grandfather. Because she says, do not talk about my grandfather. Oh. <laughs> I remember this. The two Jacks carved their... Uh, Jack Mitchell and Jack Ladd, they used to hang out together all the time. And they carved their names into this bench on a... Well, trip once. You don't care, do you? <laughs> no, please, keep going. Okay, I will. Okay. On another school trip, they... Stop. <laughs> uh... They're having a good old time. So, you have to think that you could probably play this game several times, doing things differently each time, and I don't know, maybe there's different endings to it. But I don't know if I would have the patience to play through it again. Because it is kind of slow. Okay, this will take us to the relay point. Which is where Ren is. So I'm going to assume that the game will save when I go here. And um, press this. So let's go ahead and see if the game will save. So hopefully it's saving now. So there's a picture of her with the ball. And let's see what happens here. Okay. All right. So this is how we get to the relay point, And this is where I'm going to end this episode. Uh, I am going to keep playing this, but only occasionally. Uh, I'm focusing on uh, The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine right now. So I'll still focus mostly on that. Play that more often than not. But on uh, nights when I feel like playing something a little bit different than The Witcher 3, I'll jump back into this and I will finish it. So if you are interested in seeing the end of this, uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you receive notification when I do post new videos of Oxenfree. You could also subscribe or follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook. That's another good way to uh, keep track of what I put on my channel. Well, thank you guys for uh, joining me on this second hour of Oxen Free. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. No spoilers, please. And um, yeah, hopefully you will uh, join me again in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching.